Nicholas Boothman, How to Make People Like You in 90 Seconds or Less Have you ever wondered what secrets lie behind instantly connecting with people and winning them over? In the book, How to Make People Like You in 90 Seconds or Less, Nicholas Boothman unpacks these mysteries and offers effective tips to build rapport and bond with others. The book summary delves into the world of body language, teaches how to create a welcoming environment, and the importance of initiating conversations with open-ended questions. It also explores the concept of neurolinguistic programming (NLP) and how to synchronize with others. This introduction sets the stage for readers to learn everything they need to know on their way to becoming likable and skilled conversationalists. The Power of Bonding From the plains of Africa to the modern day, humans have always had a profound desire to connect with others. Strong social ties not only contribute to our well-being and increase our lifespan but also play a significant role in our success and achieving our dreams. However, making new connections can be challenging, especially when we have no shared interests. Fortunately, it is possible to kindle connection in under 90 seconds, and in the following parts, we'll learn the essential skills needed to do so. Impressions formed, before you even speak. The first impression is not about what you say but how you present yourself. The way you position your body, make eye contact, and smile can establish a connection with someone even before you introduce yourself. To show openness, position your body with your heart directed toward them, make direct eye contact, and smile genuinely. Introduce yourself with a simple greeting and encourage them to do so as well. Repeat their name to help you remember it. Lean slightly toward the person to show interest, and either offer a handshake or keep your hands by your sides. Remember that the first impression is vital in establishing a connection with others. Building rapport by design. To establish a natural connection with someone, you need to focus on shared interests. But if you don't have any common ground, you can build rapport by design, starting with the right attitude. A useful attitude is goal-oriented and positive, while a useless attitude is negative and passive. By adopting a useful attitude, your body language and facial expressions become more likable, making it easier to connect with others. To do this, decide your end goal for each conversation and focus on a desired positive outcome. This way, you'll automatically adopt the body language and smile that will make you more likable and endear you to those who can help you achieve your goal. The Power of Effective Body Language Body language can be split into two categories, open and closed. Open body language helps to build trust and facilitate communication while closed body language typically signals resistance and nervousness. It's not just about your body, your facial expressions matter too. To build credibility, it's essential to align what you say, how you say it, and the signals your body sends. Inconsistencies will harm your credibility and create awkwardness. With effective body language, you can establish a strong connection with others and improve mutual trust. The Power of Synchronization The act of synchronizing with others is inherent to humans. It starts from birth, with a baby's rhythm sinking to its mother's. Even in adulthood, we tend to synchronize with others, mimicking their behavior, speech, and even clothing choices. This synchronization is essential to building rapport and increasing likability. Salespeople, in particular, benefit from synchronization to match communication styles with potential customers. By copying and subtly imitating the gestures, body posture, facial expressions, breathing, and tone of voice of a conversation partner, one can establish a powerful connection that facilitates communication. Synchronization is a significant aspect of our lives, and studies have shown that people prefer others who are in sync with them. Therefore, understanding the power of synchronization unlocks the potential to establish a better rapport with people, leading to positive outcomes. Conversationalist's Key Element Know the art of conversation by asking open-ended questions and listening actively. Have you ever felt uncomfortable in a social setting and found it difficult to initiate a conversation? Being charismatic and making a good impression relies on more than just visual cues and intonation. 
The content of what you say plays a vital role in attracting others towards you. The key to conversing confidently is to ask open-ended questions and listen actively. Open questions are conversation starters that invite people to talk about something. Using words like who, when, what, where, how, and why can help you get an explanation or opinion from your interlocutor. Closed questions, on the other hand, elicit a simple yes or no answer. So, it's best to ask open-ended questions to keep the conversation flowing. However, asking the right questions is only half the conversation game. Active listening is equally important. It requires listening to not only the words coming out of the person's mouth but also paying attention to their emotions and feelings. For active listening, you have to use your eyes, lean in, face your heart towards the speaker, and nod when you agree. Interrupting the speaker is a big no when it comes to active listening. Respond enthusiastically to what's been said instead of interrupting them. For example, if your conversation partner says, I really like living in Chicago, but my husband got a promotion, and we might move to Miami, you could acknowledge his, her emotional state and ask an open-ended question like, wow, that seems like a huge and stressful decision. How are you going to decide where to live? In conclusion, being a good conversationalist requires asking open-ended questions, active listening, and acknowledging a speaker's feelings and emotions. Mastering Communication with NLP Discover how adjusting your communication style to match someone's dominant sense can help you build a healthy rapport with them, thanks to neuro-linguistic programming, NLP. If you're interested in improving your communication skills, you might find neuro-linguistic programming, NLP, helpful. In the 1970s, its co-founders, Richard Bandler and John Grinder, suggested that we use one of three main senses to filter our perception of the world, visual, auditory, or kinesthetic. Knowing which sense dominates in a conversation partner could affect your rapport with them positively. If someone is primarily a visual person, they care about appearances and think in images. They are likely fond of using expressions like, how do you see yourself, and, I see what you're saying. Auditory people, on the other hand, appreciate conversation, appreciate expressive speech and are drawn to the legal and broadcasting professions. They prefer using phrases like, tell me more, and, I didn't like the tone of his voice. Finally, kinesthetic individuals seek out palpable experiences and might use sentences like, how do you feel about, and, I'll stay in touch with her. By identifying someone's dominant sense and adjusting our communication style to match it, we can make the person like us more. Here's an example, if we need to communicate with a visually oriented person, we should speak quickly and dress sharp. Someone who prefers auditory communication values pleasant tones of voice and clear communication. A person who has a kinesthetic learning style will appreciate a gentle tone of voice, patience, and sensitivity. To figure out someone's preferred communication style, we could look at their eye movements. When we ask someone about a positive experience, a visual person will probably look up to the left or right, an auditory person will look to the side, and a kinesthetic person will look down to either side, toward their body. Knowing these patterns can allow us to modify our communication style to meet the needs of our conversational partners. By matching our communication style with another person's dominant sense, we build healthy rapport and easy free thinking. Reading someone's eye movements correctly is a crucial component in creating a healthy communication process. In conclusion, how to make people like you in 90 seconds or less offers valuable insight on honing your skills to establish an immediate connection with others. By employing open body language, effective eye contact, adopting a useful attitude, and initiating engaging conversations, readers will learn the art of creating strong connections. The book also emphasizes on recognizing an individual's predominant sense through neurolinguistic programming and syncing with their communication style for a more effective bond. This holistic guide serves as an essential tool for empowering readers to expand their social network, boost their confidence, and enhance their overall well-being.